Hey, it's the Zach Sang Show. <laughs> so we start. We got Heather. We got Dan. Hi. Oh, we got Jorge Blanco. Hey. Look, look at that <laughs> smile. That's a million dollar smile yeah. right there. Is, isn't he beautiful? Gorgeous. So beautiful. You, you're, oh, thanks, guys. Your <laughs> soon-to-be wife is a very lucky lady, my friend. Oh, Seriously. you're engaged? That's upsetting. Yeah, I'm the lucky one, though. Uh, first thing I said when I met him and found out that he was engaged. Yep. Sad. Yeah. Well, for me. The, wor the, the single world lost a great one. Yeah. <laughs> How was the ESPYs last night? Great. It was so much fun. I mean, it was an honor to sing there. And yeah, ESPN has been great with all these, with Summer Soul. It's been yeah. fun. So what are we doing to prepare for a performance like that? Are, you, are we rehearsing? Do you know your movements? Well, we had like a two-day rehearse with the, with the whole band just to get back to it, you know, get mm -hmm. take out the rustiness on it and, yeah, just warm up and go up there. It, like, when you do a live performance, you do band and track? Are you just band? What's your setup? How do you handle it? Uh, we use band, whole band, and we use a little bit of tracks to, so to make it, like, sound even fatter. You know, you Got have it. more stuff on it and just make it powerful. Love fat things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally understand. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Fat things are nice. Agreed. You're Wait. from Mexico. Guadalajara. Yeah. Nice. You started on Disney Channel, like, like South America. Yeah. How'd you get into acting? Did you find them or did they find you? It kind of found me. It felt like, you know, when Harry Potter find, finds the wand and kind of the wand <laughs> picks you before yes. you're like, ah! yes. it kind of happened like that. You know, it just this audition came up and I was like, eh, I got nothing to lose. So I'll just go and try. And then boom, just happened. And it was high school musical, musical selection. Yeah. I guess they were doing like a Spanish version version of high school musical. Exactly. And they didn't cast. They did a competition. It, yeah. A reality show. You didn't, you made it into the movie, but you didn't win. I didn't win. No. No, I got out like two shows before the finals. Did, but you were in the High School Musical. Yeah, movie. I was. Part, yeah, part of the movie too. Did you watch the real High School Musical before tackling I did. this one? Yeah. Uh, how, what are the similarities? It's pretty similar. I mean, a lot of characters are like kind of the same format. You know, uh -huh. you have like the guy that's like between sports and music, and the girl, and then you have like the two siblings. Are the songs the same? No, it's different. Different songs. Actually, we have like a couple like more. Latin, urban Latin mm -hmm. vibe songs. Nice. And the story is kind of different. Instead of basketball, it's soccer, of course, because mm -hmm. Mexico is bigger. Yeah, that kind of stuff. And, okay, so from there, you mm -hmm. end up pretty much on Violetta. Yeah. Which is a... I didn't even know the show until I met you in Vegas. Yeah. You exp you filled me in briefly, and then I went to go do research. Yeah. A game-changing Disney Channel show in South America and in, in a great deal of Europe, right? Yeah, it was huge. It was funny that they, they they told us like, hey, it's crazy that this is the first time a show becomes so big globally without being made in the US because most most of the big stuff it's, it comes from here. So we were like, okay, that's a big deal. What well, what was the show about? The show is about like this girl that comes back from from Spain back to live in Argentina, her hometown. And his dad is kind of like overprotective about mm -hmm. her in, in the music world. And she finds this academy with all these kids, you know, that sing and all that. And she gets into this world. That's where my character comes into. Oh. Yeah. So like victorious, but with more like drama and pressure from parents. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Wow. That's really, okay, so that that show runs for like three or four years. Yeah, four years. And then you have a whole tour attached to that. Yeah, a big tour. So, uh, Back to High School Musical. Do you get famous in South America off that one movie, or when do you become a household name uh, in that area? Is it not until Violetta that everybody knows your name? Well, I mean, Mexico, yeah, like High School Musical helped a lot. Yeah. But then with the Violetta thing, it was like a huge global thing. Like the fact that I didn't go to Europe before Violetta, and then I traveled for the first time to Europe, and all these people talking different languages being like, Jorge, Jorge, and I'm like, whoa, okay, <laughs> this is getting far. Yeah, it was crazy. Well, you know a ton of languages. Spanish, English, Portuguese, French, and Italian, and right? Italian, yeah. At what point in your life do you learn all of those? Well, English, I started, like, English, I started in a bilingual school when I was, like, nine, yeah. so that helps. And then, I don't know, I just, I always loved languages, and I, I always liked a lot French, and then I got into all this Violetta thing, getting all these cast members from all over the world, and, you know, I have one of my best friends is from Italy, too. And I just, like, wherever I go, I just try to make do my best to try to speak the language. Portuguese is because we'd filmed another show, a TV show in Brazil. I lived in Sao Paulo for like three, four months. Oh, cool. How fluent are you in these languages? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I could defend myself. Uh, pretty much. No. Not French. French is the least one, but I, okay. I, I'm trying to work on that one. Well, Portuguese is almost, it's close to Spanish. They're all kind of similar. Yeah. Italian is the most close to Spanish, yeah. actually. Like, if they speak oh, really? slowly to you, you'll totally understand if you speak Spanish. Nice. Interesting. Yeah. So, like, you didn't really, like, you, you learned English because of bilingual school, but everything else you kind of just picked up through life. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> and now, did, who forced you to audition for this high school musical reality show? Well, it's funny because I... I loved the movie, like the original movie, yeah. and and well, I was I was more into singing then, you know. I've, it's always been like my thing, but then I was like, that'd be cool, you know, to do musical and do the movie and dancing. That'd be fun. And then I heard about the the buzz about the audition. I was like, oh, look it up, and I found this website. It said like, oh, I'm sorry, we got like already like 60 people selected, and I was like, oh, okay, well, whatever. So I kept on kept on going with my with my life. I was in in exams in tests in school and then I was coming out of school early and my mom calls me and she's like wait I found the real audition it's the last day is today you, wow. you want to go and I was like uh, okay and she was like I brought clothes in the in the, in the <laughs> trunk I'll pick you up and we'll go and I was like okay so I just went it was like super out of nowhere and it just went there and happened and that moment changes your life totally so you but you were singing before then you always knew you wanted to be a performer Yes and no, because I was super shy. Okay. I was a really shy guy, and uh, I would just sing for myself at home. My parents were the only ones that, that knew that I would sing. The only thing I did once, it was like this fair at school. I was like 14. It was okay. like a contest, and now my dad's were like, my parents were like, hey, you should try it. And I was like, ah, I don't know, I don't know. And I was like, okay, I'll try it. I sang like a punk rock song, and nice. I loved it. And everyone in school, it was like, I didn't know you sing. And I was like, eh, well, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then, yeah, and then in high school, I was like, I don't want to like, I didn't want to stress out thinking like, what am I going to do for life? I was like, I'll just finish high school and then figure it out. I didn't want to like think too much of it. But then the audition came out, and I was like, I'll just go. Like, why Nothing not? To lose. Yeah, why not? And then, boom, like the wand. Well, yeah. <laughs> did you know what you kind of, like, did you have a plan for life before that audition? Not much. Like, I just wanted to, like, finish high school and see what happened. You know, I, I was trying to figure out, I was probably going to go through the music link for sure. I was like, okay. should I go for production, music production or something like that? I was, or I don't know. It was around that same area, though. And uh, so, High School Musical, the Spanish version happens, Vi uh, Violetta happens, and then one of my favorite moments of yours is that you come to America and you do the Disney Friends for Change game. Yes. My, I, one of my favorite, every summer they would do the Disney Channel games, yeah. red and blue, and then they did green and yellow. Mm -hmm. Remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah. What is it like meeting the American Disney Channel kids? It was crazy for me, like, looking at all this, like, part of my childhood too you know like yeah. being part of all that world was amazing for me and i think i feel lucky i was like in the last one because they they don't do them anymore i don't know why like hey disney they, keep don't keep on doing it they're they, so much fun they really are and they, they bring they people are. together and they build fandoms yeah yeah totally so it was great to be there and just hanging out with all the disney stars from all of the world you, it was so much fun so if, if i'm like american disney stars yeah. and i see you walk into the room yeah I, I might hate you, right? You're, you're Maybe, be yeah, because like, what is this guy doing here? Well, you're talented, you're beautiful, <laughs> and the only thing that they have over you is that they're American, yeah. you know? I, Were they assholes? No, not at all, but I totally get, like, it was funny to get there, and, <laughs> and you know, it's their world, and they all know each other, so you get yeah. there like, hey, I'm from Mexico, and they're like, okay, yeah. and you're like, okay. <laughs> so, so they had no idea who you were when you walked in? No, totally, no, yeah. <laughs> the, I mean, the ones I could hang out more, it was the ones that were on my team, for sure, uh -huh. but yeah. Hey, they were nice though. It was fun. <laughs> what do we think about Disney Channel today? Because it's a different world. It is different. Like yeah. I think it's it's normal though. It tries to evolve with whatever is going on with the world. You know, like yeah. kids change now. All the streaming now is changing the whole world. You know, because I remember the first shows I used to do. Like people, like all the Disney people were like kind of like scared of all the you know social media, internet world. They were like, <laughs> okay, just watch it. We watch out with uh, having too much profile stuff going on there and now they ask you to have it they're like oh you should have a youtube channel you should have it they won't acknowledge you if you do not have it exactly yeah it's crazy it's changing so much the, the landscape is changing and the shows i feel like have really mm -hmm. changed but mm -hmm. also i think like the audience because everybody's on social and it's information is so easily accessible yeah. i think kids are a little bit more mature mm -hmm. than like when i was growing up watching like high school musical and stuff like yeah i turned to high school musical to, to like for knowledge right and to make sure like to validate that if you're different mm -hmm. it's all good you yeah. know acceptance is key yeah and now people can get that from so many different areas right away yeah totally. so the shows serve a different purpose now mm -hmm. it's cool how how it's evolved yeah 
Violetta, uh, you know, they're bringing back, w- how long has the show been off the air? Uh, the show, the show's been for like five years almost now. Wow. Yeah. And, and they keep repeating it though. It keeps going. Yeah. They're going to milk it for a while. <laughs> yeah. And then in three years, they're going to call you up and be like, Hey, we want to do a spinoff just like Raven's house Oh wow. mm-hmm. and all of the other ones. Is that something you're down to do? Oh yeah. If it happens, I'll be super happy to do it. I mean, I, I clicked so good with the, with the rest of the cast uh. and it's like, a, it's a family now. So I'd be happy to go back with them. And now we're doing music. Yeah. As of February, you sign a record deal with Hollywood Records. Mm-hmm. It's a big deal, yeah. obviously. Yeah, totally. Why, why do we want to conquer America? You're doing so well in South America and <laughs> Mexico. Got a great life, man. Yeah, I don't know. It was like a new challenge for me, you know? I was like, why not try something different? Go, all the stuff I've been doing before, it's been in Spanish. I was like, why not try English huh. and go try from scratch in the U.S. and see what's the, like, the legit reaction just with my music and see what happens. Huh. See, I got to give you credit. If I was you living my best life in South America, I'd be like, wow, I need America like I need a hole in the head. You know, it's a lot of work. Yeah, is, it is. It's is not it a, easy. Is it weird being in America where you're not as popular? Uh, well, no, I kind of like that. You know, I, I appreciate a lot when people have just like a random reaction of whatever they listen to with mm-hmm. this new artist like they don't even know. So I kind of like that, you know, because, you know, my fans are so loyal. I know they're going to be there and mm-hmm. they've been there like all these years and I appreciate it so much. But I like the fact just just looking at just random new people reaction. I love that. And you do get a chance to kind of like redefine yourself a little bit. That too. Right? Yeah, that kind of helps too, you yeah. know, kind of be here and be like, this is going to be me instead of being a character, you know. So what is the big difference between Jorge Blanco in America mm-hmm. and Jorge Blanco in South America. Um, well, th- there's that that you know people knowing for all these characters yeah, and being on TV, being on TV, and I don't f- see it because a lot of people ask me like, "Oh, do you see like a bad thing for people like to recognize you as these like Disney character?" And I'm like, "No, because you know fans grow up with you and they want to see more stuff, new stuff, mm-hmm. and totally social media helps. You know, help helps them to get to know you instead of the character. They do all these like edit videos, like, oh, this is Leon, the the character in Violetta, and this is how hot he is. Yeah. So it's great they get that totally, and I think that's a difference. Like they feel already they're like family. Like they put they do all these posts on on social, like, oh, we're proud of Jorge. Like they like <laughs> that's cool. It's great. Like they they're they're definitely part of it. You know, and, thanks to them, I'm here. And they want you to achieve and like succeed in America. I feel yeah. like that's kind of like. In South America and Mexico and a lot of places, you know, around the world, when, you know, you build a bond with an artist like this, they Mm -hmm. want you to go ahead and follow your dreams. Yeah. You know, they want to see you kill it in America because everybody, everybody knows that America is, it's the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. The records you released and are out right now, Risky Business. Mm -hmm. Great song. Oh, thanks, man. Digging the, uh, digging the the tie and the outfit and the suit and the microphone work. (laughs) <laughs> Very nice. Thanks. Are you writing these songs yourself? Are you? I mean, obviously, you're we working yeah. with people, but are you writing these songs, or how'd you find them? Not these two, but actually, like, I kind of felt so good with these songs. Like, they showed me these songs, and I'm like, man, we got to get these yeah. now, because mm-hmm. those songs kind of helped me out to find a lane of what was going to be the style of my music. I was like, if I get to do that in in my writing and all that stuff that'd be awesome like though those could be those two songs when you know the typical question when they say like which is a song you'd love like you would be like oh i wish i would i wrote that yeah. i think risky business might be one of those okay. definitely so i think that's why i wanted that those songs yeah and yeah be part of it totally and you serve a different purpose with these songs right like mm-hmm. you're bringing them to life they, yeah. they become yours you have to embody them mm-hmm, totally and, so summer soul is a single now yeah working in the studio like what was your first feeling when they played you the song I mean obviously you, you knew you wanted it yeah did you like how do you dissect a song like that are you listening for anything in particular no I was I think that was like my first question you know like I, when I started writing and all that I was like what is it gonna be my my sound like you yeah. know that was my first concern you know because I want people to listen to something be like oh that's kind of Jorge's vibe or yeah. that that's Jorge for sure like I wanted that you know I don't want I didn't want to like to just put like a pop song out and just be trying to copy some someone else I want to sound my own. like everybody else. exactly yeah. I want to sound like me so that's gonna be like the all the journey all these two years writing and these two songs kind of felt right for that mm-hmm. so all the rest of the songs have kind of like that vibe plus other different rhythms uh, mixed on it like a little bit more R&B in some of them and, cool yeah and the album yeah supposed to release in 2017 
Is that still happening? I don't know. We're figuring it out. I don't know. Kind of like with the streaming thing, we're just waiting to see what happens. Like either we have song by song, song after like, yeah. like we were going to be having new material all the time. That's for sure. Material we have, like we got like 40 something songs ready to oh, go. Wow. So we're trying to figure out what's going to be like the format, either song by song or maybe an EP or maybe a full album. I, I think we'll let the know the, the people choose, you know, what they want. I think you need to stagger your releases. Yeah. People want things, you mm -hmm. know, not all at once anymore. Exactly. They yeah. want it in pieces and they want to constantly be fed. Keep it fresh. Yeah. yeah. People are hungry. Totally. Every week they need to eat something. I know. They need new music. It's crazy. It is crazy. They're like, oh, that's all. Oh, that's last week's thing. Uh, You're mm -hmm. like, whoa, okay. Moving on. <laughs> and it kind of, yeah. you know, it hurts music a little bit, but it also keeps it, you know, competitive and fresh and it gives a lot of artists totally. the opportunity to release music. That's a good thing. Why did you stay away from the whole Spanglish thing? Like, why are you only English on these songs? Um, I think just because I, I wanted to try something different and not to kind of like, closed myself in that just in that world you know mm -hmm. i like i wanted to show like i can give all these other stuff because the the spanish thing it'll come anyway i'm already yeah. working on a collab with with another mexican artist and it's in spanish okay so i was like ah, why not start in english and then because the spanish is going to be there anyway you know yeah what do you think when you hear a song like bieber's version of despacito i love they did that because that opens the doors to do like so many new mixes so many new new you know latin latin pop with american pop mix so i'm happy that they're doing that because that opens me to do more stuff more collabs with other artists and more latin artists to come and cross yeah. over and i think it's a great thing do you get offended when you hear that justin bieber actually cannot sing the lyrics to despacito <laughs> well i mean i know spanish is a hard language you know and and says maybe... the guy who speaks five <laughs> <laughs> well but i started with spanish and i heard a lot of times that that spanish is not easy to go to spanish if not if it's I, not your first I language i took it for nine years in school and i know nothing <laughs> there Literally you go nothing. plus if you don't if you don't practice like yeah. practice is everything mm -hmm. like if you ask me right now to go flow in the others like i wouldn't be able because it's been like for a while the last time that I spoke them so I need to get back into it a little bit and then get it so I would just call my friend Justin and be like hey just hang out I'll give you a couple extra lessons and you're good to go, <laughs> there you go. so then you know <laughs> yeah because if you record a song you should be able to perform it right well yeah I mean I think they caught him kind of like unexpected off, off guard yeah you know it and, happens you know there's Justin by the way Justin discovered that song on his own he yeah, was touring in South America and yeah it, People are giving him so much crap over that not knowing the lyrics. Yeah. It's a hard song to sing. I think I get the lyrics right. I mean, it wasn't and I don't. a concert either. Yeah, I mean, if it was a concert, just it was like, like a club, it was a club thing. It was like, hey, like throwing the mic and yeah, man, I, it was an official, you know. Uh, if he knew he had to sing it, he probably would know the words. Exactly, totally. <laughs> you got to give him six months to prepare. <laughs> yeah, I have my high school Spanish teacher's on vacation right now. <laughs> so, do you read YouTube comments on your videos? Yeah, I do. Why does Poland love you so much? I was reading comments and it's, <laughs> everything is Poland, Poland, Poland. I'm like, Poland. Yeah, it was a big market for the show actually, and and they're great fans. We did a show for for like thirty two thousand people. It was Whoa, it was what? amazing. But you're dubbed over, so it's yeah. not even your voice but in they all of these know different the countries. Songs in Spanish, like all the way. They really? sing them all. You're like, wow, what's going on here? D it's do amazing. they freak out when you speak and they're like, wow, your voice is way different on the show that I watch? Yes and no, because like like the same like a lot of people used to see it before like it came out in their country like look it up on internet and find it in spanish and just got it yeah figure it out did you have approval over the voices in all the different countries like they sent me like yeah they'd be like this is you in poland this yeah is you i, in I heard some stuff and and it's funny like sometimes it's like wow it's totally different and some of them are like super good match i don't know it's well you want the match yeah <laughs> I had a guy do that we were when we used to do a radio show back in new york it was a french company and they took our interviews and they would dub them in fr french yeah. and the guy they got to play me in french was terrible really like even worse than i am in english <laughs> yeah and that's saying something <laughs> yeah that happens i mean it could happen you never know what what the dub actor is going to do you know uh, they could do like a total different thing you're like hey what happened no. yeah, it's like I, I sound like right I'm anyway. crying and I used to be I, I'm supposed to be mad or, I don't know <laughs> something like that you know? I don't want your interpretation of this role <laughs> I've already interpreted it so <laughs> you just match me it's a whole different world the whole dubbing thing it's, yeah. yeah it ain't easy though no, would you ever dub for somebody else I'd love to dub a character like an animated character that'd be fun mm. I used to do like dubbing in Mexico for like songs for Phineas and Ferb okay I did a lot of stuff for oh, Phineas and Ferb in Spanish cool. 
were you ever Phineas in Spanish? No, I did like songs. The theme like, songs. Yeah, I didn't get to be there enough time to start doing like speaking voices. Cool. But yeah, it was fun though. What do you think, you know, original High School Musical, Zac Efron doesn't sing in the movie or on the yeah. album. Yeah. Somebody else handles the vocals. Yeah. Drew Seeley. Yeah. What do you think of that? Like, would you ever do, like even think about doing that as an artist? Well, I mean, not me, because I think I would be, if you ask me now, I, I think I would be able to do it. I mean, yeah. I, I, I mean I wouldn't, we don't even know the reason why that happened exactly, so... Who knows? You know, Zach Efron can't so, really so he, sing. So he's the only one who knows. I you know? he but I think he sang in the second and third, though. Did he? Uh, he, he did. I think maybe he after did. there was like this giant backlash after the first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Totally. yeah. I thought Drew Seeley did a great job. I'm yeah, sure he's a great singer too. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah. All these people in the whole Disney family, and you all are kind of connected. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. Now, I, your fiance, she performs too, right? Yeah, she's a singer and actress too. So you guys kind of know the whole world. Is it still awkward filming music videos when there's like girls rubbing up on you and seeing um, her do those type of things? No, I mean we both get it. It's not like we love it either. It's not <laughs> yeah. like yes, but <laughs> what'd you do today? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But it, I think that helps the fact that we both work on the same thing. We totally get it and. And yeah, it's and we've been together for so long to be mature enough, you know. How many years? It's been a while. Ten years. Wow. Nice. Okay. How old oh, are yeah. you? Twenty-five. I was fifteen. Wow. So okay, let's 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 soak this in. <laughs> so you're you're starting your music career here in America. Yeah. You have so much left to achieve, mm -hmm. and you got a ball and chain. Like you're tied down. <laughs> well, no. no. I mean, I mean y y yes. <laughs> Stop. Like, like what? You're, you're depending on what point of view you see. Like you see it though. I mean, not for me. I, but you're still so young. You haven't been with anybody else in 10 years. Do you ever think of that? Uh, people have told me that, but I mean, we broke up twice. That happened. That's also a sign that you know it is going to work out. Yeah, we, yeah, for some reason yeah. we came back, you know, yeah. so it works. Were you hooking up with other people during the breakups? Uh, a little bit. Not much, though. What, like, yeah. what, so you, you hook up with somebody else for the first time after, like, I don't know how many years you were in a relationship mm -hmm. then. That's weird, right? A little bit that you're not hooking up with her? It is, yeah. I, I totally, like, when we got back, it kind of, like... It happened because it was kind of inevitable, you know? Yeah. It was like, yeah, for some reason, like, we kept, like, looking for each other, and we care so much for each other. Wow. Kind of happened, yeah. And w I watched your proposal. It was very nice. Thanks. It was <laughs> good. It was, you, you sang a song, but it was yeah. a duet. I, w I thought she was going to get up and sing to you, and you'd meet in the middle. It'd be beautiful, but it's still yeah. beautiful. Thanks. You look good. Yeah, because I, I hit the song for her, like, for a year. What? Like, you, she never heard the song until that moment that I... Stood up oh. and sang it for her. You guys now need to cut that song together. We did though. You did. We did. I made her. She she starts like if you see the the original YouTube uh, video, she sings from like the bridge till the end because oh. I made her record it after. So Got it's it. like it ended up being like a music video kind of thing at the end. How how long do you prepare? Oh, by the way, he proposed to his girlfriend on a talk show. Yeah. Well, and it's not a talk show. It's this guy. He does a show on the internet. Yeah. Um, but it was like a fake episode. Yeah. Like we, it was all oh, the whole thing was staged just for that. Yeah. Got it. Were, were that those her parents or your parents? Both. Like the ones that are beside her are yes. her parents. Got but, it. Like all the family was there. It was my parents, her parents. Ooh. It was like, like a thing like, hey, let's all come for summer. It was actually her idea, but oh. everyone had already like tickets to come to, to LA. She was like, <laughs> oh, you all come. And I was like, yes, it's her idea. That's great. <laughs> so is she in Mexico right now? Uh, no, he's, she's here. She's here. Yeah, she's she here. living with you here. Yeah. And um, do you go to dad, her dad, before you proposed to her? Yeah. I did. I had. I mean, I, I wish I had the option to do it in person. I couldn't because we were always together when we were with them. Uh, I had to FaceTime them. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. It's like that was the only reason. Yeah, because I was already like planning it. So I was like, uh, I have to do it now. At least you asked. Yeah, like yeah, but what do you say to what do you say to her dad? Like I, I'm prepared to provide for your daughter. I've, you know, I've not, loved not her much. for a decade. <laughs> no, I just told him like, hey, I got a surprise for you guys. Guess what? I'm planning to propose. And they were like, what? And I was like, yep. Wow. And they were super happy. Twenty five years old, tying the knot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I found her early. I mean Yeah. That's nice. Where are you gonna be at your love life in twenty five, Zach? Well, dude, I'm still a virgin <laughs> at twenty four, <laughs> so there's literally no sign of marriage. You're gonna go there's actually, married. There's tomorrow. no sign of sex in my future as of now, so Aww. you need to have one without the other. Okay. How, but you've been together a decade, you're obviously planning to spend your life together. do you do anything now to keep the relationship fresh, or do you ever feel like getting a little stale? Uh, we try to keep it fresh, you know, like, you know, you always try to like, kind of like flirt with the other person, trying to make it, keep it, 
you know, new all the time. You know, details are always like good. Once in a while, like it's a little surprise, and it's nice. Yeah, it's nice to keep it fresh, and communication is always like a big thing. Even even in this business, like sometimes we have to be away from each other. Always gotta talk. Hard. Yeah, exactly. Always talk. I'm just looking at you, thinking like, if I looked like you, <laughs> I would just be. Be doing so many things, so many places with so many people. You know, it's crazy. I'll keep dreaming. I will dream or plastic surgery, I guess. Uh, well, also, I know everyone makes you beatbox, but you got to do it for us. What, you beatbox? Oh, I do. I even know that about you. Yeah, I do beatbox. Wow, you you, you, you don't need you to do it. No, no, I can do it. I can do it. You're like, no, you need you, to. You must beatbox. Uh, <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Where do you, when do you learn, like, uh, you can do that with your mouth? A lot of just free time, just trying to do stupid, <laughs> stupid things, you know, be like, uh, in the car or something, and then you're like, okay, that sounds good. <laughs> Have you ever thought about recording yourself and, like, putting in an actual song? I've done it. I Like, sometimes I write when I'm writing and just have, like, a... Something like if I don't have much equipment, I just do the beat with my voice and with my yeah. Now that's an advantage that you have that not everyone has. Yeah, you're right. It could be like an advantage. Totally, writing it helps mm -hmm. a lot. Wow, that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Is that like a dream of yours? I want to be able to be box so bad. What, what do you like? It's all in your your tongue and your lips. Yeah, it's yeah? all practice. Like you, you like yeah, like yeah, damn how, practice. Well, how do you Go figure ahead. out you can make a whoop noise by like flicking your throat? <laughs> like okay, that, no, he flicked his cheek. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. It's all practice. It's literally just being, it's like when you oh. try to whistle when you're a kid. It's kind of that kind of stuff. You're like just trying, trying, trying until, until it happens. That's, that's for beatbox. What? You just try stuff and spit for a little bit until it sounds good. I can't whistle. <laughs> well, next time you're here, we'll go back and forth. There you go. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a... Yeah, that'll be interesting. Is, yeah. is this going to be your new hobby? Well, it's that and gymnastics. That's what I want to get into. Are you... Can you do like, can you do that <laughs> stuff too? You can do like everything. So you must be able to do like... Back handsprings, somersaults, flips. Wait, you're a gymnast? Flips, I'm not, I, I love to do those. I respect them, so I haven't tried them on my own. I want to go with somebody to like really knows to help me out. I want to be like, oh, I'll try this, and then yeah. I Done. feel like you could pick it up real easily. You can do everything else. I'd love to do it. Like, I'm a big fan of flips and stuff well, like you that. Do, so you're not a gymnast? I'm not. Hey, but what? I'd like to be. And you just want to be a gymnast? Yeah, I researched uh, adult gymnast gymnastics <laughs> classes recently. Oh damn! I'm down. I'll, I'll go. I'll go join we'll you. Go I'd love to. I'll, I'll nice. do it. Okay. Definitely. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm just picturing like somebody teaching you how to tumble. You can't even do that. Well, that's why you need to take lessons. Yeah, yeah somersault. Exactly. You need a pro to tell you like do it like this. If not, you'll you'll break your neck. Exactly. Yeah. yeah totally. See, <laughs> I know what not to do and my body's limitations, <laughs> and I can't do that. And nobody wants to see me try to do that. Ah, you can if you try to practice. Yeah, you can always do it. <laughs> you can. You have to join us next interview. It'll be fun. Let's do it in the we'll in that box and we'll flip, and it'll be the best interview ever. <laughs> That'd be fun. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'll watch. Like, okay. I'll try. Yeah, you, yeah. you just sit back and watch. You can play play play. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jorge Blanco. Yeah. Two songs that are out right now, Risky Business, Summer Soul is the single. Great songs. Thanks, bro. Oh, I, Thank seriously. You. Risky Business is my favorite out of the two. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Thanks. You know, being real. I, was, I saw you at the, when you were at the ESPYs. I was wondering, are you f a fan of American sports? I do. I love American sports. Uh, I wish I had more time to get into it, like yeah. to pick up when is the game, and like mm. I'm really bad at that, like finding when is it going to happen. So, I'm, so did you know who was who? Like when Kevin Durant or LeBron James walks by, did you have any idea what was going on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. I know a little bit of what I have to know. Okay. Yeah. And do you bring the fiance to the ESPY awards? Uh, she came. Yeah, she okay. totally came. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Jorge Blanco. Thank you so much for coming by, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Fun. Anything else? No. Got a, got a lot of practicing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Start working. That is a wrap. Thank you, Jorge. Thank, Thank you, you, man. Thanks.